You happy, John? Yes. Okay. Speed. Speed. Janet, yours is the kind of story I love to do because <laughs> it's such a happy, upbeat story about, you know, you're going along and playing tennis one day and suddenly, you know, the whole world changes for you. Yeah, it was very exciting, everything, the, the way it happened, and, and uh, it is very much, I guess, what you would call a Hollywood story, everybody's telling me, because it doesn't usually happen like that. I mean, you usually have to go, you know, and have, you know, years of theatrical training, and, and that's very good. It's just that for some reason I got lucky, knock on wood, and it happened fairly easy for me to get this first break, you know, in The Flamingo Kid. Was it something you aspired to do or you dreamed about doing someday? Um, not really. It's, you know, I came from, you know, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I have six brothers and sisters. And, um, you know, I'm just, I was a tomboy up until I was 15. And then I just happened to fall into dancing and one thing led to the next and all of a sudden I'm here. It's not like I really planned this out, you know, a while back or my family didn't plan it out for me. It was just, just, I guess, a blessing in this happening. It's very exciting. Are there any parallels between what Matt Dillon goes through in The Flamingo Kid and what you yourself have gone through or are going through at this time? In my life uh -huh. as Janet Jones? Um, yeah, in some ways, yes. I mean, there's, a, there's that summer where he goes through of, of growing up and, and realizing what's important in, in, in his life and what isn't important and materialistic and the rich ways and considering the way he was brought up on the other side of the tracks. Um, yeah, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I didn't know anything about the business and all of a sudden um, I moved to LA w with a job on Dance Fever that Merv Griffin brought me out. So I mean that was another great lucky break. You, usually it doesn't happen like that either. And um, th therefore I met Nels Van Patten who I've been engaged to for three and a half years now. And uh, so their, their family just brought me into it in a nice, refreshing way. You know, I, didn't really, I haven't seen any kind of bad way about Hollywood or, or, you know, some of the talk that everybody talks about. But it's been very exciting for me, and it's been very good to me. Do you think you were attracted to Nels? Of course, he's very handsome, and you're very beautiful, so you're two beautiful people being attracted to one another. But do you think the fact that he's from a fairly good-sized family, and you're from a, a fairly good-sized family, was that something that brought the two of you together? I think so. Well, we met on Dance Fever. His family was judging the show that night, and, and I was, I'd worked, I guess, I'd been in L.A. for two weeks. And um, it did, because I was, I was impressed that he was there with his family, and I thought, well, this will not be, you know, I mean, this is a nice, safe date, you know, to go out with right now as I'm first coming to L.A., you know, being around his family and everything. And, and yes, I guess that was one of the first attractions, that, it, that he was an okay, you know, he's an okay guy. Were you at all nervous or intimidated about, uh, I'm thinking of maybe your first or second day on the set when it's all so new to you, Janet. How did you cope with that? Um, I, I was... It, I wasn't nervous in a way where I was upset that I wouldn't do a good job. I was nervous because I was so excited. I wanted to be there. Um, Gary Marshall, the director, made it very comfortable for me. It was like a family. And everybody that worked on that film was like a family. They were so, so nice. And um, I couldn't have asked for a better first movie. Um, yes. I was, you know, it's, it was my first film. It was a dream come true. I was on cloud nine still at that time. And uh, I was just very concentrated. I wanted my full attention to Gary Marshall. And I gave it to him. And, and I think that, you know, he, he put me on the right track with acting and, and told me this is what you've got to do. This is what's got to happen. And you've got to really want it. And he saw that in me and he gave me that opportunity. Of course, Matt Dillon is playing a different kind of role for him. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I know Matt a little bit. Uh, so I have to assume that Matt was, uh, I don't want to say insecure, but a little bit uptight about this different kind of role. Did you, did you sense that Feel in that him? Feel that at all? I'm, well, not, I've ever worked with him before. I didn't, I didn't know how he worked his job before that. But, of course, I think there was probably a little, you know, a bit of, hesitance, but Gary Marshall being the king of who he is, you know, with Happy Days in the Vernon Shirley, Young Doctors in Love, all this comedy and, and success that he has, 
I'm sure Matt trusted him, and, and that, that was, had a lot to do with the way Matt came off. He trusted his director, Gary Marshall, and he went with, went with his advice. And I think Matt came off great in the film. And I think that it's fun to see Matt Dillon smile and, and, and show his charm. And I think this could be a whole new light for him. Yeah, I think so. I so. think so. What about the love scenes? Uh, were they difficult for you at all? Or were you a little more exhilarated about those scenes than some of the others? Oh, they're, they're a little more fun than the others. I, I had a good time with them. I, I really, I think that the minute we met, we had a great chemistry together. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't hard to hold each other. We were comfortable enough to where those scenes were pretty easy. And um, the love scene that we have in the film, I was nervous because being my first film, I never you know, knew what a love scene would you know, be all about or anything like that. I, I left it up to Gary Marshall. I trusted him completely. He, um, you know, usually there's like 60, 70 people on the set, and I thought, oh no, you know, I might have to look like I'm, you know, half nude or whatever, and, and um, it's against my morals and this and that, and I don't want my family to see this and this and that. But all of a sudden there was like five people on the set. It's called a closed set, and it's, it was very comfortable, and there was never a time where I was just like, you know, standing there. And um, it just was like a piece of choreography. It was, it was, I don't know if, I think that's the way it comes off in the film. It's not, it doesn't say that, it just says what it's supposed to say, that we, we have a summer romance and that we really enjoy being together. Did you have to be nude in the scene? Um, I had to be um, topless, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really for that a lot, but I felt like it was, it's a very classy film. Um, Gary Marshall, the director, is a very classy man. He would never do anything to exploit me in any way. Um, like I said again, I trusted him. And I feel very confident about myself. I'm a, dan I'm a professional dancer. I feel very confident about my body. And um, not that I want to go like this to everybody in the whole world, but you know, if it, means, if it means that it will make the scene a little better and the chemistry between us a little nicer, then, then that's what's got to happen. Well, the way it comes off, have you, have you seen the final cut on the yes. picture? Yes. Yeah. The way it comes off, it, um, uh, and that's why I said, you know, were you totally because you nude? Don't really because know. you can't really tell for sure. Oh, it was never totally <coughs> nude. I mean, whenever, even when I was, it was my, even if I was topless, I was against Matt, you know, lucky him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheesy. <laughs> I was against Matt, so I mean, it was not like I was standing there. Um, and you know, if they weren't showing one part of the body, it was closed. You know, it's really it's interesting to see if, you know how they shoot a love scene, because it's it's different than what you might think in your in your mind. Well, it's done in bits and pieces, right. or at least this one was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, Janet. I've enjoyed having this chance to talk with you. And, oh, thank uh, you. Uh, such a, a, a and now you're into a chorus line, aren't yes, you? Yes, I'm filming. I'm I'm just came in for the weekend to do all these interviews. I'm filming right now in New York at the Mark Ellinger which um, Richard Attenborough, Sir Richard Attenborough is directing it, and Michael Douglas is our, our director in the film. And I your mean, role is what? I play Judy Monroe. Judy Turner is her, her stage name in the play, but they've changed it to Judy Monroe. I grow from El Paso, Texas. Oh, you know, so you're, you're practicing your Texas accent. Yes, <laughs> I hope I get it right. You guys <laughs> okay. will tell me if I don't. I'll check you out on that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Janet, thank you so much. You're just thank delightful. You. Oh, thanks congratulations a lot. Congratulations on a nice entrance into the film world. Oh, thank you. I'll get my fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh. interview. Nice interview. Thank you. <coughs> don't know why all of a sudden I was so choked up. I got like that a couple of interviews before. Uh, maybe it, do you? Maybe just a glass of sure. water. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's. Um, it doesn't matter. Just. Uh, Janet, what is it like for you to be just suddenly playing a game of tennis and the next thing you know you're making a movie? Did you ever sense any nervousness in Matt Dillon because of the fact that he was playing his first comedy drama? What was 
What was it like for you the first day or two you were on the set? In doing the love scenes with Matt Dillon, were you at all a little nervous or intimidated? In the one love scene, were you actually nude? Do you think you were attracted to Nels Van Patten because he's from a fairly good-sized family and you are also? You're filming now a chorus line. What are you playing in that? Okay. All right. Um, let's just do some reactions now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's been so hard. <laughs> it's your acting. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm so used to doing it sometimes just to the light stand or something, you know, because people aren't there. And it's kind of strange. But, uh...